Well, hey there, gorgeous. My name is Dusty, and this is the Scorpio Priestess. If you like my vibe, well, I would appreciate those likes and subscribes. Anybody who has, thank you. If you would like a personal reading, you can do that by visiting Scorpio Priestess It is in the description of this video as well as the link in the bio. I have many different options. If you would like to enter to win a hundred and seventy five dollars drawn on the 30th of this month you can do that by liking subscribing and entering blessing but scorp if you're doing well for yourself let's allow this for our family members who could use that extra come up but everybody is welcome to enter to win a free half hour facetime reading by liking subscribing and entering reading we do have a snoring baby luna we just went out potty it is freezing out i had to put on a heavier hoodie because it is cold here in pa we are going to see what is it that you need to know about your life and love life from now until the end of the year what is the the remainder of the year going to bring for you scorpio we are going to do a few personal messages head into love and then we are going to ask two questions with my answer book as well as my yes or no cards and we will get a little read on your questions so if you can think of a question right now think about what it is you want to ask tell me spirit what is the energy that scorpio is embodying right now current present energy what is scorpio what is on scorpio spirit right now please oh boy guys fear which is the lowest vibration of all i realize that i am testing my resolve to live in the energy of love love is the highest vibration so for a lot of you you're embodying a fear vibration you're fearful of the future you're fearful to move on you're fearful of dating for some of you it's going to be so important that you get out of this vibration or you will just start attracting other people who live in the energy of fear or are fearful to open up or fearful to give you a solid commitment for some of you you have to realize that you are um children of god and you can do anything you set your mind to um and there's no need to fear yeah surrender thank you spirit it's going to be important that you start learning how to surrender scorpio i release my need to control you may just want to repeat this affirmation i repeat i i release my need to control i use my intuition in all aspects of life in decision so for some of you you are in a very fearful confused energy and you are trying to surrender is what i see here for a lot of you that's going to resonate 100 percent you're trying to surrender your need to control your need to know what's coming your need to know what is next in your love life or in your life in general for some of you you have to work on giving it to god if it, or your god or spirit whatever your um belief is Scorpio whatever is meant to be will be focus on today become the best you you can be and keep that shit pushing down the road tell me spirit what blockages are Scorpio is Scorpio dealing with I want this reading to be a healing um, message for you a, a message of, of of giving you some ideas of what will be helpful for you to manifest in the best lover possible or even somebody back but being in the energy of fear is not going to help you do that surrender to your soul's path surrender to rest and sleep to prevent burnout, slow down, honor your need for quiet time and peaceful sleep to rejuvenate your mind and spirit. Your life's journey has been perfectly designed for your soul's growth. Embrace every lesson and every moment. Spirit is letting you know that whatever is happening right now in your life, Scorp, whatever's going on, it's all part of your soul's path. It's all part of your growth. We are um, eternal souls here. This is just uh, one of many lifetimes. You learn the lesson now, you will not have to learn it again. Learning how to surrender 
though, Scorpio, to what is going on in your life is mm -hmm. going to be one of your biggest life lessons. It looks. It certainly was for me. It is not easy to get in the flow. It is not easy to trust and believe that you are um, being guided and protected and, and give it over to spirit. But I promise you, if you work hard on doing that, on mm -hmm. staying here in the present moment, on not uh, panicking about the future or ruminating on the past, you will never ever ever go back you won't mm -hmm. want to anytime you do you will have the ability to bring yourself here to the mm -hmm. present moment what what message do we have for scorpio today please what is the spiritual mm -hmm. message oh, we have a flipper for my babies what do they need to know about their life now until the mm -hmm. end of the year finishing out 2023 happy birthday to all my babies mm -hmm. celebrating this weekend like moi moi by the way where you are right now is where you are supposed to be don't compare yourself to others take mm. that only adds pressure take each day as it comes and for what it is mm. you are a better person than you were yesterday growth isn't easy but you got this it's my my guides mm. are, are really wrapping up what i'm saying here scorpio you are exactly where you're supposed to be in this moment of time sweetheart you didn't waste 10 years you haven't wasted your life mm. you are exactly where you are supposed to be everything happens for a reason and everything will balance out there are always negatives and always positives for some of you we need to look at how far you have come and how much better of a person you are today than you were yesterday or that is what you're being guided to work on you are feeling somewhat confused by the events that are unfolding around you and the various seemingly contradictory information that is coming your way Mm. trust your instincts and do what they are telling you to do and you will learn a lot about yourself and mm. the direction mm. you want your life to take for some of you you are so confused about which way to go you may be watching a lot of tarot and hearing this and hearing that and it's confusing you or there could be people in your life trying to give you advice and this person says to do this and that person says to do that Scorpio ultimately you have got to listen to you and your instincts intuition surrender to what is going on right now if somebody is not in your life well they are they're not supposed to be they're not supposed to be in your life right now don't fall in love with the shoulda coulda woulda or the what used to be or the what if stay here in the present moment how can you become the best person you can be and get out of this fearful energy please put prayer in the comment section i will continue to pray for you Three of Pentacles in reverse. For some of you, you're, you're, oh, my deck's upside down. <laughs> but I will tell you, uh, clearly I, it was meant to be because I feel like a lot of you are not healing. You're not resting four of swords in reverse. You're not recovering. You're, you're just spinning your wheels here. Three of Pentacles in reverse. You've been having some issues with perhaps everybody around you. Your vibration may be so off that you're arguing and fighting and you're just, you're frustrated and you're, uh, you know, dropping things and stubbing your toe and, and running late and you're just chaotic. That feeling, I feel it in the energy. And what it is is that you are are in in a vibration of fear and indecision, and it's making you're just getting more of that back. If you can take a day off, a day to yourself, take the kids to your parents, um, do something so you can be in quiet, in peace, and really come back to yourself. If you have the ability to meditate, sit and listen to to a beautiful meditation music, and just breathe, come to a a more calm place inside yourself, for devil energy you're obsessing over something in the moon and you're in fear i really felt guided to do a healing reading this morning a, a, a coaching reading this morning um and i don't typically and i and i'm understanding why and i'm sorry luna is really getting it in back there she's right here right by the mic um for a lot of you scorpio you're in this devil energy moon energy honey you're afraid you're only seeing so so much of a situation and it's confusing you you're, you're left to your mind you're left to um just come up with um make assumptions and conclusions on your own because somebody may not be talking to you you're obsessing a bit 
again, it's so important right now in this kind of energy and this kind of vibration that you come back to your center and you do that by focusing on what it is you're doing right now and do not worry about tomorrow and think about yesterday. If you work hard on doing that for, let's say, 14 days, go on a two-week present challenge I'm going to stay present you'll start to find that that soul ache that feeling that you have that fear and that that feeling in your gut will start to go away for some of you you have somebody that wants to be quite generous with you here in your life Scorpio or somebody here that wants to help um, <clears throat> five of swords the empress and the star beautiful you're coming out of a place of fear. You're coming out of a place of fighting, arguing here, conflict. Every time you talk to somebody, it's a fight. This person always wants to win. They always want to be right. This doesn't have to be a lover. This can be anybody in your life. This could be a Capricorn, an air sign, an Aquarius, a Cancer. Lots of majors here. For some of you, um, you are walking into a place where you're going to embody your Empress energy heal and heal. You're going to sit on your throne and attract the things that you, you desire by raising your vibration. You could have a mother figure or a feminine energy around you that will be very helpful to you. If your mom is there to help, take her up on it. Take up anybody that offers to help right now. There's no shame in it. It's hard for a Scorpio to accept help, but sometimes it is necessary. For some of you here, so much healing happening now into the end of the year. You're coming out of a place of indecision and you're surrendering. I can see the progression. And so congratulations. You're starting to, to understand. You're starting to have clarity. Ask to be shown clarity. Ask the divine to show you clarity on how you should be moving right now. And then make moves off your intuition. That is what spirit is asking you to do. Tell me, what is the animal oracle message we have for Scorpio, please, today? What animal oracle message do we have? And then we're going to move into love. Independence, the cat, and the beaver. Balance. You are being told that your hard work is important, but so is quality time with loved ones. The balance between work, play, family, career must be maintained for overall wholeness and success. And I have a hard time with this as well. I'm taking my family on vacation for my birthday and my daughter's 21st, and I feel so off about it. I've been having to... Uh, meditate and tell myself that I will not stress over something that's supposed to be fun but I'm a little uh, a little off because there's so much that has to be done for me to step away and and for some of you you may be just working 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 and not enjoying time with your children or your family or not having any balance any rest you may be being called to to rest Scorpio if you can take a day off if you can um, you know spend the weekend with your family go home and visit do something to spend time with your friends and family people who love you it will allow your vibration to raise it may be bring you you know spend time with your grandbabies come back to a um, your your center and, and and gain perspective on what's really important in your life you are being encouraged to develop a balance between independence and time together. This also indicates that it would be greatly beneficial from a profound journey of self-discovery. Learn to enjoy time spent with yourself. Did you hear me? Spirit is letting you know that you need to start being more um, independent in some way, ways in your life. Most likely you've been involved with a codependent relationship where you valued yourself off if they loved you or you feel that you need them and, and you're being guided to really find balance there. You don't need anybody. As long as you got you. If you are good with you, darling, that's all that matters. Everybody in your life is not guaranteed to stay. And that means everybody. The only person that is, is you. That You could be married. Your children could leave. A, a lot of things could leave. A lot of people who have free will on if they want to be with you or not have the free will right to leave. And so it's important to get good with you. Scorpio tell me spirit 
what is the final message we can give to Scorpio about now until the end of the year about what they should be doing about what advice can we give them ongoing struggle between temptation and redemption for some of you here now until the end of the year you still may be embodying a devil energy you still may be in a place where you're ha you're having ruminating thoughts but it's duality this is a duality card you're being pulled you're being stretched i'm seeing like a, a back and forth in my third eye and and so it's like half of you is surrendering and and ready and the other part of you is still stuck in these ruminating thoughts but you're you're coming out at least worth the wait being saved for better things take a break divine timing from now until january honey you're being guided to surrender to divine timing now just may not be the right time for a reconciliation now may not be the right time for you to get that job that you're so desiring there there's some reason behind it if something doesn't work out believe it's because there's something better coming your way scorpio from now until the end of the year Moving on here to love, what is coming in love, what you need to know in love from now until the end of the year. What does Scorpio need to know in love? I'm so proud of you guys, by the way. You're, you're trying. I see the progression. You're getting, you're going from the devil energy to the fucking star in the empress. Did you hear me? 1606 on the clock. It's going to have a big message in there for you. Please let me know. Someone let me know and I will pin it in the comment section on what 1606 it, um, means because a lot of you here. You are about to go from ruminating thoughts, obsessing, low vibration, fear, to actually embodying a empress energy and healing in the star. I'm, it's just beautiful. Finding balance and surrendering. I'm very, I'm so proud of y'all. So tell me, Spirit, what does Scorpio need to know about their love life from now until the end of the year? divine timing once again there's something going on about divine timing it's a very clear message here you're being guided to try to surrender and understand that everything happens exactly when it's supposed to what's happening right now even though it may be slow and you want you want a person to come back or you want to meet a new lover it's all happening exactly in the order it's supposed to Behind every twin flame journey, there is a divine plan and a divine time for accomplishing it. Don't force it when, but how you can learn from it. So the divine is asking you to learn patience here. Learn how to surrender to divine timing. This twin flame journey may be that may be one of the lessons your soul signed up to learn with theirs is to learn the, the art of patience coming here in for some of you you have been separated from someone you were married with separating from your soulmate can be painful but let your pain be a catalyst for change go deeper within yourself great patience with great patience you will achieve the commitment you're looking for this will be the kind of love many only dream of finding did you hear me did you hear me the divine is letting you know that you're bringing in the kind of love that some people would die to have scorpio from now until the end of the year a love like no other but it's all about timing don't look into a tunnel vision on romantic love as the only possibility for the situation. Some twin flames are better off as friends. The divine is asking you to don't lock yourself into tunnel vision thinking that the only person that will only make you happy is your twin or is your soulmate that you're in separation from. You're really being guided to not have tunnel vision here and trust in divine timing what is what is best for my highest good bring who is best for my highest good into me spirit a lot of you are are in tunnel vision right now where you just you're telling yourself i can't move on i can't i can't i can't and somebody's hurt you several times but you're allowing them to come in and out because of it you think it's you know because it's a soul connection but really it seems scorpio and i'll be drugged for this and i'll you know lose subscribers it's actually because you're in a codependent relationship i've been there I have depended on somebody else loving me to value myself or, or locked myself into only wanting 
uh, just this person, no one else ever. It's something you have to work yourself away from. For some of you, maybe a reconciliation can take place. I'm not saying it can't, but for a lot of you here, you're being guided to trust that you're about to meet a new lover that will do it all the way for you. If you open yourself up to that, you could miss out on beautiful love, Scorpio, because you're so locked in to just one thing or one person. They will return. Spirit's letting you know it, it's not over. For some of you, this person's slow moving. Um, it, it is Patience is totally needed, but you will be able to reconcile with this past person. For those that it was not toxic and abusive, um, a reconciliation may happen. On the twin flame journey, we always separate to learn our lessons and then come back together. But the faster you learn your lessons, the better. Because on some twins never learn. They just repeat cycles the, their whole life or never come into true union because no one's learning anything or raising their vibration. Secretly watching, secret feelings, not in a relationship, ready for love. A lot of you are about to find a brand new person that is single, that is available, that there's a lot of attraction. From now until January, you're meeting somebody new that is single and available. You may have a hard time opening up. You may be a little guarded. There's somebody secretly watching you. For some, it's a past person. For some, it's a brand new person. There's somebody that feels very scared they're going to lose you. <clears throat> Spiritual purpose, big lessons meant to be. For a lot of you, you are learning so many big lessons because of the twin flame journey. You're actually learning your lessons. And that is why true union will be able to take place. You may be going away. For the holidays and you could meet somebody new for some of you you're in a long distance relationship this person may travel to see you before january um there's someone that is also giving you the sh cold shoulder right now because they're comparing options you may have children with this person for some of you you're going to meet somebody at work or you already have you could be being strung along a bit honey if somebody is just giving you little tiny love offers or, or just a weekly text or a little d every once in a while they are playing a game they're stringing you along because they're scared of losing you but they're not making choices and decisions there is somebody coming into your life scorpio that's going to be devoted to you that's going to give to you fully um, you just have to work on this excess baggage. You may have a lot of a lot of wounds from this past situation, from this twin flame journey. A lot of you have a lot of wounds that you need to deal with. I did. I had to deal with abandonment wounds, rejection. I, I, if somebody rejected me, oh no fucking way. I could not handle it. When I was younger, rejection would cut me like a knife and I valued myself off if I was wanted, if I was um, loved by this person and if I wasn't, I would fall apart. So I'm I'm understanding of this energy because I've been here. There's no shame in it. But it's important to remember that nobody is guaranteed to stay. And you cannot value yourself off if they want to be with you or not. Now, let's talk about the past person that's afraid of losing Scorpio here. Most likely, they're twin. They have feelings of jealousy. They're afraid to lose you, so they're stringing you along. Seven of Pentacles in reverse. The devil, they're in a very low vibration. And the Nine of Wands right now as well. They're very wounded. They feel like whatever they're out here doing is not being, it's not successful. It's not working out. This person... They may be going out a lot. They're just in really destructive energy. Ugh, this person has got to get it together. If you start to heal, you may be able to send them healing energy to start to heal as well, Scorpio. I knew I was losing you, but I didn't do anything to fight for you, Scorp. This connection... I'm not going to say that. This person seems to have gotten bored, Scorpio. 
um they got they got complacent their pride and ego got hurt so i wanted revenge i wanted you to hurt too you could have hurt their ego hurt their pride so they started acting in very bad behavior this is someone who likes newness they like excitement and drama they want you to fight for them the moment things get um you know like day to day just routine this person starts getting bored so they will start talking to others trying to validate their self outside your relationship etc this person seems to feel like they're withstanding a lot of adversity right now they may be dealing with some bad karma period because they've been ruthless and they've wanted to win at all cost in some way they are getting smacked from now until the end of the year with bad karma Oh boy. Tell me um, what this per person wants with Scorpio. What is their actual intention? What are, their, what are their true intentions, please? Eight of Swords here. Six of Wands. And the Hangman. This person doesn't know. They, they, they are filled with self-doubt. It's actually really low self-esteem and self-doubt that keeps them from pursuing you fully. They know they want a victory, but they're just hanging here. Their indecision is bleeding all over you. You're energetically picking up on their indecision, and it's really making you feel the same way. This could be a Pisces, a lot of air here, Capricorn. Tell me, spirit, what is the final projection with between Scorpio and this person that's in their pride and ego? Mm. Ten of Swords in reverse. Judgment in the Four of Cups. This person's arrogant mm. and wasteful with time. They do want to pull uh, these Ten Swords out mm. your back. This is truly how you feel. I can see it. I can feel it. You're in agony. This person is going to come in and pull out some of these swords, but Scorpio, four of cups here, that's not great. Um, you may end up feeling rejected again, but you will have a earned reward if you make a judgment call. If you make a proper judgment call, you will have something good happen. The divine will give you some kind of reward for learning your lessons here. What do they have to say? feeling lost and it's really simple how do I feel I want you us forever I'm trying to make this work but I feel so lost I don't know what to do or say anymore it's easier to just stay silent yeah, they don't know what to do anymore. They don't know what to say. They're really wounded. They're dealing with bad karma. They're arrogant and they're wasteful. They do want to come in and, and pull these ten swords. Tell me why. Ten of swords in reverse. Out of your back. Ten of wands. Wow. But like I said, they're heavily burdened. And the hierophant. This person wants to come in and have some kind of traditional relationship with you. But they've got to heal first is what I see. This person has got to find some kind of relief for their mind. They may need therapy or something for their, their mind. But they want to they wanna commit to something with you. They want to give you some kind of commitment. It won't be easy, but for those who are willing, you could bring this back together from now until January. It just depends on what it is you want, Scorpio. Now tell me about the Scorpios that want this brand new lover, this new love they may um, meet at work or why that person's at work. You could go out, they could be bartending, for example, you could meet them, you know, uh, they could be your realtor or it doesn't have to be your work. Um, tell me about this single and available person. The Fool, a fearless new beginning, the Four of Wands and the Ace of Wands, baby. This is where it's at. Beautiful celebration love scorpio jumping off the cliff here starting a brand the fool's journey baby really really intense passionate connection really good sex really connected on a deep level this new person could be an aquarius or a fire sign a lot of you here a lot of togetherness 
but Scorpio, you could overthink your choices and, and start mm -hmm. to feel out of control with your emotions um, because you're only seeing so much. Something is, is being shadowed mm -hmm. here. And you're just going round and round and round. If you meet a new person or already have from mm -hmm. now until the end of January, it seems like you're going to be really off about it. Your emotions are going to be mm -hmm. all over, very confused, really afraid to give up this past person, but almost knowing that it may be necessary. Make sure you're trying to come back to your center score, please, because it looks to me like um, a lot of you are going into a place of healing, but you may be triggered by meeting someone new and starting to have all of those feelings that you felt before. So make decisions, follow your intuition. Don't sit around and, and be indecisive and, you know, go with how you feel you should go. Okay, very good. So moving on. Oh, honey, that wasn't nothing. Luna thought something fell. That was nothing. I sorry. I scared you, baby. I sorry. All right. So we're going to answer two questions here. Close your eyes. Take a deep breath. Stop the reading. Really channel your energy. Focus your energy on asking this question, darling. We're going to answer it from the book, and then I'm going to pull a few cards on it. Tell me, what is the answer to Scorpio's question, spirit? You'll be happy you did. So whatever it is you ask there, the answer is you would, you'll be happy you did. Tell me about more about this. You'll be happy you did, please. It is a maybe. There's a spark of love, a new beginning in love, and love filled with potential. But be careful who you talk to about this. If you're thinking of doing something, it's important to not tell a lot of people about it, Scorpio, for one reason or another. Whatever question you ask there, um, it's important that you don't tell too many people. Um, but it is a yes, ascending, rising to higher levels here, captured their heart, cannot deny your love. Um, so for a lot of you, if you've asked about a lover, um, the answer is yes, but do not tell a lot of people about it. You will be able to ascend and climb to a higher level in this relationship. If it's about work, it is a yes. You'll be able to ascend and do something that you love. Second question, and what is the answer to Scorpio's question? We're going to go all the way to the back. This is a good time to make a new plan. So whatever it is you are asking there, let's get more on this is a new time to make a new plan, please, Spirit. Tell me about this. <clears throat> Another yes fairy tale story here Scorpio whatever you ask there yes this is a good time to make a new plan because it will turn out like a fairy tale here for you um, let it come and let it go can't control the situation but things are shifting as well as uh, dating being wined and dined for some of you if you're asking about should you move on the answer is totally a yes you could have a fairy tale story and start dating meet somebody that takes you out but you're let you're being guided to let it flow live in the flow things seem to be shifting Scorpio so if you've asked about a past person they possibly may come in and ask you out on a date ask you to go out I hope everybody has a beautiful and blessed Friday make the best day today is gonna be the best Friday we've ever had you are living in the moment, baby. You are letting go of fear, surrendering to the divine soul path. Love and light.